yourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today, we reach week 15, and we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Cardinals and the Denver Broncos. And off we go from Denver. And you combine a big leg with a mile high air, and there's the outcome. This will sail out of the end zone for a touchback. Second and two now from the 33. This is Gordon as they go to him again. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Well, this defense for the Cardinals, they were strong last week, CD, and that went over New England. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. And he's going to have the Broncos first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. The Broncos had 10 and 3 on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back to back victory CD. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Now a throw here to his running back. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he is going to lose yardage here. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 here on Malcolm Butler. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard yeah, yeah. line. After the turnover, here's Murray. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Draymond Jones in there to bury him for a loss of 11. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them early. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now, I know we're only two plays in, but after giving up back-to-back -back sacks, something has to change with the protection, and they can't wait to have time to make an adjustment. Back-to-back -back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And he will work his way out of bounds here at the 25-yard line. A huge play there for Arizona. And even 50 yards. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll go with the 
action coming right. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of four. Now third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Murray. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Look at this. Mel on the field. A breakaway. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. This one's in the air. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring that all deep in his own territory. He coughs up the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And he will bring this down inside the 10 and 8 yard line. They are costly mistake there in the return game. That is not how you want to answer an opening touchdown. Yeah, and your defense is asking you a lot of questions right now because you're already down 7 to nothing. You turn the ball over, they've got to go right back out there to try and keep it from getting to 14 to nothing. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. It's Wilson on the option. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Well, we know it's a tough mission for this defense to hold him to a field goal after that long kick return, but they're one play away from doing it. They certainly are very close to accomplishing what they needed to get done because they've treated this like a sudden change. You know, when the offense turns the ball over on a fumble or an interception, before you go out, you get together as a defense and go, sudden change, keep your poise, be ready to go. That's exactly what this group has done. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And this Cardinal defense comes up with a goal line stand. They start the drive with Connor. Oh, he's got a little damage. 49 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. <laughs> on play action, it's Murray. Rolling to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an oh. offense that's playing at an elite level. And sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. From the gun, Murray. He's going deep for Brown. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. 
Once again, it's Connor. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and goal. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. A great play there with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Extra point good by Prater. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And last time, they had a fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Play action. It's Wilson. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second and ten, Wilson. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. On third down, Wilson. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Again, Wilson. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10, right at the 40. Wilson. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And the Cards are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. Touchdown, Cardinals! DeAndre Hopkins. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Prater for the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Throwing is Wilson. What the? And Wilson's going to be intercepted oh, for the oh, time. getting bumped. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen. And they'll have the ball set up in the red what zone at the 16-yard like? line. Bumped on every fucking floor. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy at half number two. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action. Now it's Murray. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Zach Ertz, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Cards will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point good by Prater. And it's now 21 to 7. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now for the 28. From the gun, it's Wilson. He's got Hamler on the out route. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. Fourth down, here's Wilson. He's got his 6'5 receiver, that's Tim Patrick. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. He'll go up top here for Hamler. And his pass is for the fourth time today. <laughs> Picked off by Byron Murphy. Love it. Love it. It's passive here, but whatever. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two touchdown game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. 
As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw, it's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. That'll be complete to Breida. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. First down, Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Here's the option, running right. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. On first and 10 is Connor, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Throwing now is Murray. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. What? A great effort there with his third touchdown and 18th on the year. And the Cardinals take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Crater for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. Hey, guys, that your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. They go play action with Wilson. 
That's complete. It's Oku Abu now. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Wilson to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. J.J. Watt racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers. And my goodness, this game just, I'm not going to be able to get it out there. Right <laughs> yes, we're not going to be able to throw that out there, I guess. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Well, if there was any thought that this thing might turn around for this offense in the second half, I think those thoughts pretty well dashed after that interception Ooh. return there. It just has not been a good outing for this unit whatsoever. There's no other way to say it. They've been overmatched, haven't performed to the level that they've needed, and that throw there just going to contribute to this game getting out of hand. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk... And that's caught inside the 35. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gordon. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Patrick. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. Williams again. And this time he's going to lose yardage as they push him back to the four-yard line. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Williams will take it in. Touchdown, Denver. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but 
They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Meanwhile, Murray's throw pulled in by Hopkins. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. To throw again on second down. Murray. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they listen to their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. driving at the line the Cardinal offense and the pick six we just saw makes things a little more interesting still though a two possession game as they control their destiny in this fourth quarter and they're able to get this one across the 35 so from the 36 now first and 10 out of the gun here's Murray and the Broncos get there and take him down Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He'll check this down to Johnson. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to lead to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. To throw is Murray. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Again, Murray will keep it. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Murray sets to throw on fourth. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Broncos will take over on downs. Denver offense at the line ready to go. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. At this stage, this drive's got to be touched down or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. 
And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has it up for the first. Now Wilson. He's going to let this go. Back in the end zone. And this is caught now for a big touchdown. So everything here. This one's not over yet. Kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. On the other side, get that man's team ready. No doubt about it. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> we got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Connor going to get it again on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for it with Connor. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. As they get another minute to go now in the football game. They're going for it. Hits Murray. Reception made by Green. And out of bounds oh. on the other side of midfield at the 45. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards. And third and eight now. To throw is Murray. Finding Ertz again. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you've got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Johnson. And the Broncos are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Broncos on the field ready to start their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. 
So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. One last shot for Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. And Charles, in this one, the fourth quarter became a lot more interesting, I know, than I anticipated, probably you anticipated. A comeback bid falling just a little bit short. You're never supposed to count a team out. And I know we did not air, but mentally, I just didn't see this type of a comeback, especially one that put them in a position to put the real pressure on them down the stretch. So for the Cardinals, they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12 and 2 on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they'll drop to 10 and 4 on the year. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to LA to take on the Rams.